Hi there, my name is Andrew John Rainey and I'm the writer of Spirits of Vengeance, The Stone of Spirits. It's my debut fantasy novel, it's debuting on Amazon Kindle and Barnes & Noble Nook and other e-readers via iTunes and Smashwords on November the 14th. It will also be available in print from Amazon being printed by CreateSpace the following week in November. Now, I'm going to do a series of blogs um, that will detail how the book has come to be from the initial core concept up to the writing process through to looking at characters, locations, plot. I'm also going to look at how I've formatted the book for uh, reading on ebook and also how to format it for CreateSpace. And then I'm also going to have a look at how I've marketed the book, how I've got in contact with bloggers and other marketing um, people to try and help boost sales for books and also help other writers out there if they are struggling to do the same. Now, the first blog is just going to be a general overview of Spirits of Vengeance and the initial idea that I had for Spirits of Vengeance, The Stone of Spirits. Now, I'm a screenwriter primarily. I do a lot of screen uh, script reading and script editing. And so the initial idea for Spirits of Vengeance came up as a script when I was at Bournemouth University. We had to come up with a feature film concept that we could then take to a first draft in the following year. And I wanted to do something big and epic like Lord of the Rings. I'm a big fan of fan epic fantasy uh, like Red Sonja, Conan the Barbarian, Willow. I've also enjoyed fantasy books. I'm a big fan of Teddy Pratchett, also like Kevin J. Anderson and various others in the genre. And now, the original idea I had was just to take a young boy who always wanted to go on an adventure and suddenly be thrust into what he actually wants, but he would find out he doesn't actually want that journey. He wants to be where he was and he has to go on this journey just to get back to where he started. Um, it seems like an empty idea compared to what I had now and essentially all I wanted to do was write a big film with lots of magic and dragons and swords and armies and all the other core concepts you find in the genre. Now it became very apparent that this idea was going to be bigger than a screenplay and one of my tutors kindly took me aside and said that I should do something else. So I went away and focused on a small uh, crime thriller set here in Scotland but the idea of Spirits of Vengeance was always festering in my mind. So I went back to it to try and rework it as a screenplay, but when I realized that wasn't going to work, I decided to do it as a book. So I had to make the transition from the screenplay format to the book format, which wasn't something I'd done before, um, but it was I'd written lots of uh, short stories, so I was thought I could do it fairly well, how wrong I was, and I had to go back and rewrite it several times just to get to where it was back then in 2006-07. Now, at the point I was encountering a number of issues, the main one was the protagonist. The main protagonist was a guy called Caden, and he wanted to go on an amazing adventure with a famous warrior. Uh, they were part of the warrior race called the Ishkava Rangers and then he suddenly gets his wish made true and has to go on an adventure over oceans and through deserts, through jungles, battling all these legendary beasts uh, just to find a mysterious artifact that can help save the world. So it was all very standard genre fare and it just felt a little flat and as if I was just borrowing from other parts rather than creating something for myself. Now I wanted to make something more believable, more real, but also more something more emotional and I was looking at other characters in the book to see if they had a better story to tell. And Caden at the time had a younger sister called Kamina, and Kamina wanted to have the opposite of what Caden did. She wanted to stay at home, she wanted to just feel safe with their overbearing sister, uh, Talia. And it occurred to me that Kamina would be the better main character because she had more to lose and she had more drama in taking this journey on. She doesn't want to go on the journey, but she is forced to do it. And that's where the idea of the Spirits of Vengeance came about, because I needed her to go on this journey. And I also wanted Caden to go on the journey. And the best way that I could get them to do that was to kill Caden off. But don't worry, he comes back as a Vengeance Spirit. So what is a Vengeance Spirit, I hear you ask? A Vengeance Spirit is a person who is killed by the magic of the land. Now the magic in um, Spirits of Vengeance is power from the gods. So originally there were four gods in Anara, the world, and they are based on elements. So you've got fire, water, earth and air, and they have left uh, magical powers behind when they disappeared from the world. And if someone is killed by these magical powers, 
they can come back as a vengeance spirit if someone seeks out their revenge and that's how we came up with that's how I came up with the initial core concept of doing spirits of vengeance now at this point this was a good four years after I'd come up with the initial core concept so I'd taken something that was rather empty and a bit Lord of the Rings ripoff and I'd managed to make it something that felt unique because of the investment in the characters and in the emotion and from 2008 up till 2011 I was working on other things I'd done a number of uh, short films and I'd written a couple of feature films for a couple of directors in London uh, and I was feeling a little bit burnt out and I wanted to get Spirits of Vengeance finished so in 2011, I took a year off to go travelling around the world and it was then that I finished the first draft of Spirits of Vengeance. So from 2004 to 2011, that was seven years just to get a first draft finished and then I went back and rewrote it several times because on my trip around the world, I was inspired by a lot of the landscape that I found along the way, especially in places like South America and Bolivia and places like Peru. There was lots of rural landscapes that had settlements that were similar to where I found in Ara and that is what I wanted to show in the book and that's how I got there and then when I came back I decided to rewrite it with those concepts in mind and with also other ideas surrounding other characters so that's where the initial idea came from and that was almost 10 years ago now from the date that I came up with the idea to the date of publication which is a fairly epic journey in itself so that's something to consider. Now, if you'd like to read a bit more about my journey around the world, I did publish my travel book um, as a blog, my blogs as a travel book, sorry, and it was called My Right Leg is Tastier Than My Left. Uh, it's available as an ebook on Amazon and iTunes and Barnes and Noble as well. And it, in it, you will see the processes of my thoughts as I'm writing Spirits of Vengeance because while I'm traveling, I'm also traveling with these characters inside my head trying to finish the book. And I find it quite interesting to read back and see what I was thinking then as to what I'm thinking now in terms of character motivation. So character motivation and character is something I'm going to discuss in the next blog. And then I'll be going into further detail about the landscapes, about the countries. I'll be showing the maps that I've uh, designed for the book. And then I'll be showing you also um, concept I had for characters and also the weaponry and the powers of the gods. So hopefully you'll come back and watch that then. Um, in the meantime, my name is Andrew John Rainey. Uh, like I said, my book is available as an ebook from the 14th of November. I hope you uh, enjoy it if you buy it. And if not, I hope I can persuade you to do so in the following blogs. Thank you for watching.